maximize this so we can see the screen. And today we are going to summarize what we investigated in class with lesson 5.4, mid segments of triangles and trapezoids. So the triangle mid-segment conjecture states that a, a mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half the length of the third side. The trapezoid mid-segment conjecture says that the mid-segment of a trapezoid is parallel to the bases and is equal in length to half the sum of the lengths of the two bases. Now one of the in-class problems that we had to work on was talking about how many mid-segments are there in a triangle and how many mid-segments are there in a trapezoid. And most every student got the mid-segment question correct about the triangle, how there are three mid-segments. I could have, well that's a terrible drawing, but I could have one going that direction, I could have one going this direction, and I could have one going this direction. So depending on your perspective, you can have three possible mid-segments. Here, this is the mid-segment and it's half the length of that one. This top mid-segment is half the length of this third side, and this third mid-segment over here is half the length of this third side. So there's three possible mid-segments. But with a trapezoid, there is only one possible mid-segment, and that is because when you create the mid-segment, Regardless of if it's an isosceles trapezoid or not, you are finding the mid-segments of the two non-parallel sides, the two non-bases. So here, our mid-segment, and again, this is an approximation of the drawing, our mid-segment can only be, since it's parallel, one of the functions and the characteristics of a mid-segment is that it's parallel to the base. Well, in trapezoids, there's only one set of bases the two parallel sides. So you can only have one mid-segment. So that was question one on the, uh, the in-class assignment. So to clarify that answer. All right, let's take a look at some examples of problems that we solved. So good to see these worked out. Sometimes I hate that stupid green button. They're helping in. All right. Let's take a look at a few of the problems we solved in the class. So one of the questions asked, what was the perimeter of triangle TEN? So when we're looking at triangle TEN, we notice that it's this triangle here in the middle. So the first thing we need to figure out, since we have all those congruent markings, we recognize that, okay, we're being given mid-segments. So let's look at uh, segment EN. Segment EN is the mid-segment of triangle UAP, and notice that it's parallel to the base UP. So if one side is 6, the other side is 6, so of course the mid-segment is half of that at 6. At six. Alright, line segment TN is parallel to the base PA. PA, one second, half of it is 9, so we know that the mid-segment is also 9. And then correspondingly, Segment TE is parallel to side UA. The length of one half of UA is eight. So that means line segment TE is also eight. So then of course to find the perimeter, just add those numbers together and it equals 23. No unit of measure given to us, so we can just say 23. All right, uh, let's take a look over in the middle, here we're given a trapezoid. We can tell because we see the two parallel sides, it's a quadrilateral, and we have a pair of parallel sides. And we want to find M, N, and P. All right, well, if they're parallel sides and we know the mid-segment is parallel, that means this line over here on the left-hand side is a transversal. So if I have this parallel side and then the bottom parallel side, it means this angle corresponds to this angle, and they are congruent. All right, we also know from our examples with our quadrilaterals, our conjectures in lesson 5.3, that consecutive angles, consecutive angles of trapezoids are supplementary. So we know that M plus 51 is equal to 180 degrees. So subtract 51, N is going to be equal 
equal to 129 degrees. And then lastly, we need to find P. All right, so it's the mid-segment of the trapezoid, so we know that P is equal to one-half of the sum of the two sides. Um, I'm going to do this mentally since I don't have my calculator in front of me. Half of 36 is 18, half of 48 is 24. Add those together and we get 42. And because we are given units of measure, we can say 42 centimeters. So again, pretty easy if you know all of the conjectures and the relationships between them. All right, and our last question is Q. Notice again, we have another trapezoid here, the two parallel sides. We have our midpoint given to us, and we're trying to find one of the bases. So now, we know that using algebra, we can solve this equation. So I'm just going to multiply everything by 2. So 48 is equal to 13 plus Q. And then subtract 13. And we get 35. No unit of measure given to us. So Q is equal to 35. And again, that's pretty much it. Using the trapezoid midpoint conjecture, we know that the sides are parallel. Uh, the midpoint is parallel to the two bases. And that its length is half the sum of the two bases. So pretty simple. If you have any questions regarding any of your assignments, please make sure you email me or come see me during the break because I am here to help you out. Your quiz on Monday will be on lessons 5.3 and 5.4. And then your chapter test, of course, is coming up a couple of weeks after that. So make sure you're studying hard. And again, come see me for any additional help or questions that you have. Have a great weekend.